Hey, welcome everybody, and uh, Larry here, and I'm going to do some of my favorite pins under 20 bucks, or under 25 bucks, rather, okay? Um, now, this is just uh, a few of the ones that I picked out, because there's so many different ones that I really enjoy using, but these are just a few. So, okay, I'm going to do five of a few of my favorite under $25 below that are affordable and in my opinion are really some great writers. So the first one I'm going to show, and this is in no special order, the Pilot Metropolitan. Now that's been around a while. Um, so this pen uh, sells for around 23 bucks, 24 bucks, and uh, they just did a recent increase this year on this pen, and uh, you know, everybody was wondering, well, when are they going to do an increase, because this pen is really a solid, great writer, and it has been. Uh, it's just a kind of pen that you can pick up, feels great in the hand, it has a little bit of weight, not a whole lot, but it writes extremely well. Um, and, uh, you know, it's got a real decent grip on it. I, I, I do like that. And the nib is, is really decent as well. Uh, and this is the uh, converter it came with. It does use ink cartridges if you're interested. Pilot only, though. But real nice, affordable fountain pen comes in a lot of colors. And I believe this is, uh, I don't have my eyeglasses with me. I lost my other one. Uh, this is a stub, I believe. Or it could be a medium. I don't know what I do with my other magnifying glass, but forgive me. Great fountain pen, affordable, and... It, is, it does the job. Uh, the next one is going to be an all-time classic, the Pilot Varsity. Uh, you can buy them single, or you can buy them, I think they come seven a pack, but a, a single one would cost about $3, the 350 range. And a seven pack would run about twenty one below twenty two dollars. Uh, red, black, green, purple, blue, and I think pink may have been in there. I'm not sure, but uh, really a, a nice dependable rider. The nib really uh, works extremely well. For the amount of money you pay for this pen, you get your money's worth. Uh, these are the disposable kind, uh, but uh, they say if you look on YouTube, they'll show you how to get the nib out and how to fill up this pen. So, uh, and you can reuse it if you choose to. So, great fountain pen, nice size grip. They come in great colors. Uh, it's just the kind of pen that won't break the bank. So, you know, especially if you're just getting introduced into fountain pens and you don't want to spend a lot of money to figure out if this is going to be up your alley or not. You know, here's a fountain pen. If you spend three to four bucks just on one pen to see if you'll really enjoy that experience of a fountain pen, that would be perfect though. Uh, here's another one. Now, this is the heavier all-metal lacquered Jinhao 159, one of my all-time favorite Jinhao pens. Uh, in fact, this is how I got started and got my first Mont Blanc. But uh, this uh, Jinhao, you can find them, oh, for anywhere between, on eBay, four to eight bucks. Uh, if you buy them here in the state, 
you can find them for about uh, 10 to 15 bucks depending on the seller but they're a great fountain pen uh, twist off uh, cap uh, they come with converters that's a great thing about Jin Hao and, you know they write right out of the box they their nibs are okay uh, but they have number six six size nibs that you can just pull out their friction fit and uh, you can try different size nibs and see uh, what nib will fit your needs uh, I played around with the different nibs the a fine medium broad 1.1s the 1.5s and just had a lot of fun with these a dependable rider a good looking pen it's got a little bit of weight to it uh, but it's a pen that I, I always tend to go back and uh, get out of my drawer and I write with it it's just a, a great fun pen and again it won't break the bank it looks great they come in a lot of different colors as well. So you can get black, purple, uh, yellow, orange, red, uh, of course, blue, green. Um, and I'm sure there's many more colors that I'm leaving out, but this is just a great starter pen as well. Again, you're coming out of the uh, newbie and you want to go into the first fountain pen uh, this is what I would recommend to see if you like a girthier heavier pen uh, I know you know when I first laid my hands on this it was love at first sight in the story loved it I, I think I have about maybe eight or nine left I've given buku of them away so very nice fountain pen, well worth the money, so that's one to check out. Another one that made my list, because I really do love this pen, is the Noodler's Ahab. Noodler's Ahab is a, a pen made by Nathan, the, the owner, designer, creator of the uh, Noodler's Fountain Pens. He made these pens easy to disassemble. And that makes the maintenance on this pen really easy. And you can put them back together with no problems at all. There's many videos about how to take them apart, clean them, put them back together. If you ever run into a problem. Uh, they use the number six size nib. Uh, that's the largest nib I believe that Noodler makes is in the Ahab. It's a flex nib and they really perform well. I really do like the pens, um, and and these pens will sell for around twenty-three dollars, well worth the money. If you're wanting to get into flex and you're just not sure if flexing is going to be your bag or not, and you don't want to spend all that kind of money trying to figure out, am I going to love flex? Or am I just going to like flex? Or am I just, am I going to be able to even just get into flexing? Well, for me, I wouldn't want to spend a whole lot of money and then find out down the road that I'm not interesting with it, interested in flexing or it's boring or it's just not my thing. So I got all this money tied up on a pen that's expensive and it just sits there. Well, the Noodler Ahab, in my opinion, will take care of that desire. Uh, you'll find one thing that people will say the smell of the pen is horrible, terrible. You know, it has a smell, but I don't think for me it's overpowering. Uh, I, in fact, I just bought a, a, a new uh, Ahab uh, last week, the, the Medieval Lampus, I believe, and it has that smell, but... You know, I wash it out, it's still there, and it'll go away in time, but again, for me, it's not all that overpowering. I don't have a problem with it. Uh, and the Ahab is really a well-worth pen to have. Uh, uh, it does come with a converter. I do like that uh, 
the way it's made, it can uh, even uh, uh, hold ink. Comes apart real quick. Uh, it can hold ink when you pull the nip, the, uh, the piston out of it. You can get ink up into there. So when this starts getting low or it runs out of ink, you have kind of a little backup in there ready for you. So, you know, easy to clean, easy to maintain. You can't go wrong. You know, 23 bucks about, it won't break the bank. Uh, so, that's my take on this Ahab. And they come in multicolors. Doodlers has created this pen to use only the piston converter that it carries in it. He has never been one that likes or uses or encourages cartridges. If you read up on the story, it'll tell you why, and I'll leave that at that. Great Fountain Pen Doodlers Ahab, definitely on my list, and I'm proud to be a noodler type guy. Last but not least, the Diplomat Magnum. Uh, they come in different colors. This is a nice blue color, one of my favorite colors. A nice clip, um, pull off cap, a decent nib on here, a nice grip section on the pen, twist off the barrel, and here is the converter that I picked up. Uh, I don't believe they come with a converter. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I bought a new one. But uh, this one did not come with a converter. And I had some converters laying around, so I put it in. Uh, I do like the, in the ink window on the Magnum. Uh, that lets me know, hey, you're getting low ink, Larry, or hey, you're out of ink. So, nice nib on it. Uh, for about 21 22 bucks, you can't go wrong. Again, won't break the bank. In fact, none of these pens that I've showed you, not a one of these pens are a high-end pen, but they do the job. They write, and they write well. I enjoy using the pens. Now, I have three honorable mentions because I said I was only going to do five. Well, I had to bring these in. So, here they are, the Pilot Plumix that looks like a squid. To me, it kind of also looks like a shark with that fin, but they say a squid. Okay. And you twist off cap. Uh, Got a nice grip section. Uh, you can change out your nibs easily. Uh, this one comes with a cartridge. Uh, and, uh, and again, they only use the Pilot cartridges, no other. And uh, yes, you can make this into an eye drop if you want. And uh, this pen is like under seven bucks, I believe. Well worth the money, writes well, does just a fine job, and, uh, you know, take it to school, to work, and people are going to ask you, what is that? Kind of a cool uh, pen to talk about. Next on my list that made the honorable mentions is the newest one that Pilot has come out with, a beautiful blue color, which is one of my favorites. This pen pops. I mean, I love the black trim on it. Uh, it's a pull-off cap. It's got a real nice size grip. And uh, the the nib, can you can interchange them with the uh, Metropolitan and others. So you've got a lot of options going on here. A screw-off cap. And uh, you have to buy the converter for it, remember. 
so that's the only downside. I think the converter is under about eight bucks. So this pen runs about uh, twenty three dollars. But if you want a converter, you need to tap on about another eight dollars. A pendable rider rides very nice. I've never had any problems with this pen. Uh, it's just a, a pen that I had to give an extra shout out for. Last but not least on the honorable mentions, I have to bring the one and only Platinum Preppy. Oh, once again, before I go on to the Preppy, these come in many of the colors as well. The all-time great, the Platinum Preppy, that's another one. It will not butts the bank. And you can buy, I think they're under seven bucks. Uh, you have a plastic clip, pull-off cap, nice uh, grip section. Uh, Screw off barrel, you can put make this into an eyedropper. Now, this one I sometimes make it into an eyedropper. Sometimes I'm not a big eyedropper fan, that's why. Or I can put a cartridge in there, uh, a, a platinum cartridge, or uh, again, eyedropper. So, this is one of the few pins that I have used as an eyedropper, dependable. If you lose it, you can always get another one. They come in other colors, and they have a, I don't know, they, they lay down a nice line of ink, fine, medium, and I believe this one's a medium. Uh, but, you know, you can check out uh, any retailers, and they'll have any of these pens, and you can just make a choice. Well, those are my, anyway, my top five uh, under $25 Pins plus the three honorable mentions. Again, the three honorable mentions is the Pilot Plumex, the Pilot Explorer, and the Platinum Preppy. And to end the video with my five pins for under $25 that I think would be really great for somebody, especially if you're on a strict budget, but you want a nice pen. Pilot Metropolitan. Pilot Varsity. The Jinhao 159, and you can always get the 750 or 450. They all have number six size nibs. The Noodlers, Ahab. And last is the Diplomat Magnum. Nice pins. Well, there you have, this is my list that I've created for you guys. If you're interested, check out these pins at your favorite retail uh, store and just have a, a blast. Take care. On to my next video. Remember, don't text and drive. Later.